Hello again, this is Hiro Izuki with Castlevania Circle of the Moon, the game in which last time we made it into the machine tower, found the boss, murderized him, and got our next movement upgrade all in under 30 minutes. Yes, I know, hold the presses, resident wandering jackass finds the boss, kills him, and gets plot progression item in under half an hour. I'm a lot happier about that than I really should be, but really, when you stop and consider how long the part before last took, I gotta take it, I, I just have to. If we maintain this kind of momentum, this kind of speed going forward, I think we'll be fine. We'll, uh, we'll get through this game in relatively good time and then be on our way to the next game. Keyword there, think. Don't quote me on that. I lose five defense, get 100 intelligence. I don't know about that. I mean, the booster intelligence is great and all, but I'm not looking to get squishy. She's fine. She's perfectly fine. All right, this one. All right, let's check out these magic boots. So far. And now hyenas with guns. What happened to the skeleton snipers? I was gonna say maybe they got a union sanction break, but then I stopped to think about it to realize, oh wait, there is no way in hell that Dracula would ever let his workers go on a break. He must have fired them. Ron's armor, you say? Oh, absolutely. More defense. Bad dog. But, uh, that's a very big maybe. I mean, none of the, uh, none of the trophies for this game require 100% map completion, so I might just say, to say, fuck it, just ignore it all together. That remains to be seen. We'll see. Now. Sides rapidly drain my MP for nothing. Well, my luck went up, so that's something. What about this? Roses. Whip of Thorns. Uh. Can I maybe get the Morningstar Whip? I mean, I know I'm not exactly wielding the Vampire Killer. That'd be real nice. We got something for our trouble, even if it did involve going back to a place we've already visited. Corridor. Must be gone 
the right way. a gorgon though that looked like a bull with a nasty case of the sneezes that turned people to stone. Can I help you, sir? Okay, well apparently you've got nothing for me, so yeah, fuck you. And I see a bear. Dracula supports the right to our bears, apparently. Uh, do you have anything for me? A potion, maybe? Please? Please. I'm weak and vulnerable. I need a potion. Please spot me. Please. I'm all alone here. I have to take care of all this by myself. Because that Hugh guy's a massive dick. Catch the axe. Cursed ring. Oh, luck increased by 25%. Okay. I'm glad we've established that. What does this do? Luck decreases greatly while equipped, but I'm looking at that increase in my strength and defense, and I'm thinking that might be something I might want to double up on. Maybe. It, at the very least, having two of them would make for great boss-killing tools. Can I maybe get another one? Or, you know, maybe that potion I was looking for in the first place? Strength ring. Strength increases while equipped. My defense drops 10, as does my intelligence, but I get 45 strength. Let's do another round of this room and see if I can get a potion out of these guys. If not, go ahead and get the hell out of here. spot me. I can't stress enough how weak and vulnerable I am. Magic healing pot, please. No, bad bear.
protects the arms while equipped. Let's throw it on. Let's go ahead and throw that curse ring on too. Make me a little less squishy. Or we'll throw the strength ring on instead. Evil hand. Well, there's no body attached to that hand, so he must be true. Thank you. Please stay away. Hi. Well, thanks for the level up, I guess. Take the cursed ring off, wouldn't it? Well, I've got a warp point. Let's go to the other one. We're at least relatively safe getting to the safe point.
got my hopes up. For nothing. Thank you, but no. Can I help you? Well, you can help me by giving me that card you're holding. part of the sword, a little too literally, if you ask me. Free heals! Yum. Something for the mind. You know what? I think I need my protective fireballs here. Oh, 
She's fine. She's fine. Ignore the screaming. Can I get an uncursed? Free heals. Good for the body. Power lies within the gauntlet. Uh, no thanks, I'll take a pass on it for now. Poison spreads to protect you. I think I still prefer my little fireballs, but that's, that's something to think about. Not seeing anything out of it. And you. So I went diagonally. Poison whip that will release a mist of poison. My defense drops a bit. Eh, something to think about. Sorry for bothering you. those free heals. Now with less fat. Now I still refuse to use the knife. Stop screaming, 
you're perfectly fine. Sword, Rose Sword. All right. This Poison Claws. It does seem to have some rage. Eight. One hit. Let's go back to my fiery shield. That was close. You saw her, she was charging at me. Thunderbird. Thunder chicken card. Electric whip. Electrocute while attack is held. Damage increases the percentage of the map uncovered increases. Alright, so rev a reverse walk armor in card form. Neat. Martial arts, hold attack to perform combination. Ugh, 16 MP. That's, uh, that's a little costly. I'll think about it. Woo! Pot! Okay, I'm right here. Please stop ringing. That looks like a boss door. But we're already a little over 30 minutes in, so... I feel like we've made a lot of progress, at least uh, with item collecting, so... 
I'm gonna say we should go ahead and stop here while the stopping is good. And uh, we'll see about that boss the next time. So, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, then consider hitting the like button, the subscribe button, leaving a comment, and hitting that bell to stay updated with more videos from me. With that, this is Hiro Uzuki signing off. Sometimes the luck has just got to work in our favor. It, it really does have to. Those cards had to drop eventually. It's a good thing it happened sooner rather than later. I am that much closer to getting my trophy.